I wanted the movie to be a celebration of flight and the things that I love about flying that I would kind of fantasize about. Up there, we gotta push it. That's our job. It's your option, Lieutenant. All yours. This is what you've been trained for. You are America's best. Make us proud. Well, you know, Tom was starting out in his career, even though he'd done a few movies, and I think he was looking to make a mark. Not only am I just a good-looking guy, but I really know how to do what it takes to tell a good story and create a good character. He really cares about the movie, cares about the plot of the movie, cares about how his character arc is, cares about other people's character arcs. It was really the four of us. We all just sat around and we'd go through the script and, you know, we'd argue and uh, Don would yell and then, <laughs> then I would yell, Jerry and Tony, and then, then we'd just come up with something, you know, and uh, it was a lot of fun being involved on this level. I, I, really, uh, I really learned a lot from these guys. Jerry Bruckheimer and I went to Washington, D.C. to meet with the, uh, you know, DOD, the head of the Defense Department. Really talk to them about Top Gun and get the Navy on board to allow us to shoot on the carriers and the F-14s. Tower, this is Ghost Rider requesting a flyby. Negative, Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Well, without the military, without the Navy, we couldn't have made the movie. We needed the hardware. And it's interesting because the first time we submitted the script, they turned us down. Damn son of a bitch! They were afraid of the language. They were afraid of a lot of other things. You know, you can't hurt your career if you turn something down. So we had an advisor, a lobbyist in, in Washington, and he, he set us up with the Secretary of the Navy, John Lehman at the time. And John had read the script and said, this is really going to be good for us. Because he understood the publicity that this could bring. Now, the people below him didn't believe in it, but John understood the value of what this could do. And it was like a recruitment video for them. There were long lines volunteering for the military because of Top Gun. We split the picture in sections. We had a section that was a carrier section where we spent four days on the carrier. Then we had five weeks to do the entire ground story. Then we had to do the air story. A lot of the actors weren't involved in that part. That was just Tony and the Navy and our cinematographers doing it. The film was a very expensive movie in Paramount Pictures. There was a lot of pressure on this film. I think it was like, I don't know, 15, 16 million dollars. The volleyball scene, you know, the studio was like, what, why are you guys spending two days or whatever it was shooting them? What the, what the hell's going on? What are you guys doing? I went off and I was playing paintball, a bunch of friends up, up in the hills early on. And there was Anthony Edwards, you know, and Anthony Edwards was there and I was like, I called Simpson Brookheim and I said, this guy is Goose. We have got to get Anthony Edwards in this movie. His warmth and charm, you just loved Goose. He was just perfect. We're gonna have a good time. Always. You know, Anthony would just ad lib and just bring stuff. He just had that spirit. You're lucky to be here. Thank you, sir. I love the scene where Great Balls of Fire, you know, he could just drive a scene like that and just imbue it with such warmth. Goose, you're being That's me, honey. Take me to bed or lose me forever. Show me the way home. And then I remember when Meg came on, we looked at her test. She was just a light bulb, you know, she just poof, burst in the room and that smile and glow. And Kelly McGillis, who had just done Witness, you know, with Harrison Ford, and Kelly uh, is just, you know, beautiful. I'm Charlotte Blackwood. I'm Maverick. Maverick? Does your mother not like you or something? We kind of felt that she would be right for Tom. Again, it comes down to Tony understanding what he wanted for the movie, and he had a great eye for talent. I don't normally invite students to my house. <laughs> you up for this one, Maverick? Just a walk in the park, Kazansky. Val and I uh, really enjoyed uh, the scenes that I did with him also. I remember he was shooting a film in London, just had great power and presence, Kilmer. What's your problem, Kazansky? You're everyone's problem. That's because every time you go up in the air, you're unsafe. I don't like you because you're dangerous. That's right. Nice, man. I am dangerous. It was written, Iceman. 
And I couldn't think about anyone but Kilmer in that role. I was like, yeah, I hope he does it. And they cast Rick Rossovich great with him also. Tom Skerritt. The elite. Every element just came in beautifully. Roger, I've got radar contact. Tim Robbins playing Merlin. You know, I love that in movies too. You want that cast carrying you through this story in a beautiful way.